Hey everybody, Sam here. Hope you're having a great day wherever you're at in the world today. Today's day 10 of 30 of creating a life of self-love. I am the community host and founder of Safe Heart Connections. We work with women who are learning to create a life of self-love and their life just improves by default and they get to make connections along the way. On this 30-day journey, I'm sharing a affirmation, a task, and a journal prompt for the day. And I believe that as we go through these, the more of these that you do, the better off the more of these you do then you'll be able to see an improvement on how you're learning to create a life of self-love so our daily affirmation for today is i radiate confidence positivity and love from within i don't know if you saw but as i started to see that and read it i just sat up a little straighter once we start to create a life of self-love and we start to believe these things i radiate confidence positivity and love from within then it impacts every area of our life. And I'm truly so excited you're on this journey. So the self-love daily task is in the day by listing three things you're grateful for, no matter how small. If you've been in the community for a while, you probably have heard about me talking about the three wins for the day and the three wins for the next day. And that's from the book called The Gap in the Game by Ben Hardy and Dan Sullivan. So yeah, it's my favorite book. And so if you haven't read that yet, highly recommend to do this today. Take the moment at the end of the day to list three things that you're grateful for. Gratitude is what I call the powerhouse of creating a life of self-love. So the more we can do this kind of thing, the better, in my opinion. All right. So our journal prompt for today is I want you to imagine your life a year from now and you're filled with self-love you have the confidence positivity love from within what does that look like thinking of how my life was before compared to what it is now I'm just getting a little bit emotional because I recognize that if you do this your life really can change. It's not going to be perfect. It's not about perfection, but it's about learning to love yourself completely, exactly as you are, so that you can walk in that life and be who God created you to be. And whenever you can start to imagine it, you can start to see it. That's when it can happen. So take the time, please. Imagine what it's going to look like in a year from now. Maybe you're already well on your road of creating a life of self-love. But if you continue doing these same types of things, it can get even better. What steps today can you take to help get you there one step closer? And I would like to say just imagining it is the first step. So glad you're here. See you soon.